Shalom, it's Rabbi Weiss. I'm so excited that this week we read not only a new book, but we get to kick off a whole new Torah reading cycle with the portion of Bereshit, which tells us of the story of all of creation. Some might question the historicity of this narrative or its scientific basis, but as a modern person, I'm not remotely interested in either of these concerns. Instead, what makes Genesis, especially those first 11 chapters, so eternally relevant to us as Jews, as humans, is not the literal content of those stories, but it's the questions that they implicitly raise. For example, just to name a few, why do humans have superior intellects to other animals? Why are there at least two sexes? And interestingly, actually, our story is the only ancient Near Eastern text that includes an account of the creation of woman. Very interesting. Why do adult humans form their own families? How is their sexism? Why is human childbirth so complicated? Why is there greed? Why do people speak different languages? Why is there sibling rivalry? Why is there violence and hatred in our world? Why do we die? Why are people ashamed of their God-given bodies? Why must we work so hard? It's a philosophical treatise of why things are the way they are, or as someone might call it, an or history of the universe. In Judaism, we prioritize these questions over simple answers. In both our biblical and rabbinic sources, we're always looking for the internal values and debates embedded in each conversation and story. Ours is not a doctrinal faith, but it's a legacy, an ongoing legacy of dialogue and of questioning. And that's what keeps us strong and relevant as a people. You might recall my Kol Nidre sermon in which I asked the following question, why be Jewish? And my third reason was because of our longstanding tradition of critical inquiry. This is what it means to be Jewish. It means to constantly be learning and asking. So in that spirit, I'm thrilled to share our new slate of adult education programs here at Beth El. Just this week, we kicked off a number of programs, actually just this evening, or yesterday evening. I had the privilege of teaching the regional introduction to Judaism course in Bucks County. We did an introduction to rabbinic literature. But here specifically at Bethel, we had a few programs kicked off on Wednesday. We had Dr. Harriet Freidenreich's course on Sephardic Jewry, and that's going to be every week Wednesdays from 9.30 till 10.45, followed by my course, It Doesn't Look Jewish, a survey of Jewish visual culture and the relationship between its host cultures. And that meets again 11 to noon, um, also here at Bethel every week. And we're going to have some yoga coming up. Keep, stay tuned for that. Some mindfulness meditation also on Wednesdays. But also we have Seth Fishman's ongoing uh, weekly teachings in Jewish renewal. There's a Havruta that meets after Minion after breakfast on Thursdays from 8.30 to 9.30. And we always Skype in Rabbi Hoffman. So if you want to say hi to Rabbi Hoffman and myself, come along for the fun. And beginning this coming Thursday, Ruth Shapira will be kicking off her introduction to Jewish spirituality, which is a four-part series, uh, 12 to, to 1.30 p.m. Then on Monday, November 4th, we have the first installment of our new series, which is our monthly dive into davening virtual learning session. So join in the fun for your lunch hour from wherever you are. And special thanks to Rich Oring for setting us up with the Zoom invitations to enable learners from all over to participate. And don't forget to send me all of your prayer-related inquiries to my email, my work email is rweiss at bethelyardley.org. So it's R-W-E-I-S-S at B-E-F-E-L-Y-A-R-D-L-E-Y dot O-R-G. And again, your questions will be the basis of our time together. And it'll be from 1230 to 1, so a short but sweet session that will cover an idea each time. We're also very excited that that same day, on Monday, November 4th, uh, our new member, Ronnie Cohen, will be teaching uh, a two-month weekly Monday evening uh, introductory Hebrew reading course, and that will meet from 6 to 7.45 p.m. here at Beth El. Finally, stay tuned for the details, the exact date and time of our new Shulchan Ivri program, where we'll be going uh, during lunch hour uh, once a month to McCaffrey's and having a open conversation in Hebrew for all levels. So please feel free to, to join us there. Anyway, want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. And oh, I didn't even mention tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we have our first Bible Baboker of this year, meeting at 845 before services. 
I will be teaching a parasha class. So come for that, dive into the, the learning, and see you there. Shabbat Shalom.